Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Today we're going to talk about this amazing math website called Splash Learn. Splash Learn is a website that allows you to give your students fun activities that will help them develop and improve upon their math skills. Each activity is connected to Common Core standards, and you also get to track your students' real-time progress as they work their way through activities and assessments. Splash Learn is for kindergarten through fifth grade, and it comes with rewards, different themes, and it also allows you to play on any device. Splash Learn also has an option to sign up for remote learning so students can access at home or at school. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. When you log into Splash Learn, you will be taken to your dashboard. On your dashboard, you will see welcome videos, student login instructions, You'll see how many of your students have logged into Splash Learn, how to videos to help you learn how to navigate Splash Learn even better, and the teacher referral program here. On the top, you'll see a couple of tabs that you can choose, and the first one that we'll explore is reports. When you click on reports, you'll see that you can generate a class report or a student report. On the class report, you can look at how the class is doing based on specific standards. You can toggle between different content groups, like addition and subtraction, and see the standards that are relevant to this content area. Here, you can see how your students are doing through this color-coded chart. Green, yellow, orange, red, and gray if it's still in progress. You can also choose to click on this drop-down list and go to Common Core Milestones rather than Standards and look at the report this way. You can choose to look at specific students' reports by clicking on Student Report on the top and then choosing which students you would like to look at. Here, you can look at the students based on standards and you can assign activities here. Another tab is the Assignments tab. When you click on the Assignments tab, you can choose which assignments you would like to send out to your students. I'm going to click on this orange button that says Create New Assignment. When you create a new assignment, you can choose based on standards or milestones, content group, and specific standards. You can have a learning objective Let's say we're working on team numbers. And then you can preview the assignments. So there's three different assignments that follow along with all of the options I've chosen before. When I click on one, I can see what the student assessment and assignment looks like. So it's going to show me exactly what the students are going to see when they get there? this specific assignment. So I would choose my answer and I can How play as a student. And as you see, I collect rewards through these coins that I can use later on to, um, to incentivize our students. If I get the answer wrong, Ten. it's going to help me Eleven. get it correct by showing me different steps. As you saw, it showed all of the numbers to help us count our way through. There's sound directions and there are music options. You can also click on here to have um, Splash Learn read the question to your students. So we're going to go ahead and go through How and just go there? ahead and preview the lesson and make sure that it's something that we actually do want to send out to our students. If it is, we can go ahead and exit out and either assign to the entire class or assign to selected students. If I just select specific students, I just go through and choose which students need to practice T numbers and assign. So you can preview on the student dashboard. And once you're done, you'll see this assignment drop down here. And you can see the total amount of assignments that you've assigned thus far and how many are completed. You can also go to the assessments tab. The assessments are going to be based on those different content areas, and it will tell you how many minutes the assessment is going to take and allow you to assign it. So if I choose to assign an assessment, 
It will prompt me to let me know that the students will not be able to complete any other assignments, games, or work on skills until they've completed this assessment, which is exactly which, what I would want. So I'd press OK and go through and assign that assessment. And here it says that I have an ongoing assessment and I can go and see the reports straight through this tab. I can also go to curriculum. Curriculum is going to let me look through specific standards and see all of the different activities that Splash Learn offers that correlate with the standard. And again, I can click on it and see what the assessment and assignment is going to look like um, through this Which area. Is the missing number? And if it's something I would like to use, again, I'll just click on assign and assign to selected students or the whole class. A really fun part of Splash Learn is the springboard. The springboard allows your students to be incentivized and keep track of how your students are doing. So there are different um, badges that you can unlock through the through the week as your students are progressing through their activities, assignments, and assessments. Um, and these will unlock as you work your way. There's also these different themes that you can use. So right now I'm set on a jungle theme and I can print this out and put it somewhere in my classroom. And then when I unlock badges, it allows me to print out those badges and paste it onto our jungle um, board so that our students in the class can track our progress and we can make goals to set as we work our way through. So this really helps our students feel um, enticed to go in and do all of their activities. And it's just a really fun way to work together as a team. So you can download different themes. You can also see rewards per week. So it will tell you how many percent you have for each week and then you begin to unlock and you get different characters um, that you can add onto your jungle board or whichever theme it is that you have chosen for your classroom. So this is just a really fun way to work together as a class as well as using those um, coins that the students earn as they work their way through each assignment. So Splash Learn is really fun. Um, as you saw, the graphics are great. It's a fun way for students to practice all of those different skills. And they also allow you to invite parents and students to use this during remote learning and they can use this from home. All you would have to do is invite the parents through a parent email address and then they can unlock access to Splash Learn at home and practice these skills, whether they're inside the classroom or at home. So I really hope that you guys love Splash Learn. This is a great um, website to practice your math skills and to make sure that you're able to track data and watch how the kids are growing and progressing through the, the different standards that you're teaching and addressing. So go ahead and press the like button if you like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel Loving Little Learners for the next video. Take care!